Well, hi, guys, I'm Oz. It's me, Andre Salazar. Today, in our little art tutorial, art lesson corner, we're going to do some blind drawing. So, we've been doing automatic drawing for a while, and I still do that. But let's do some blind drawing where we're going to look at an image. We're not going to look at our paper. We're just going to draw it. We're going to kind of think about contour lines. That's really what this is about. And, and then we're going to see what we get. So, uh, let's turn the camera over. Let's do some drawing. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Uh, happy Thursday, by the way. This is, we record these, we do these on Thursday just because it's cool. So I'll just show you really quick before we do the drawing, and we're going to do two of them. Um, I'll show you some of my recent ones I've done. So just to kind of give you a flavor. Um, remember, we did that last week? Uh, this was one, I think. Not one of my favorites. Here's one. We did this one. And then I did it again. So, so you can do, I mean, you know, multiple drawings with the same reference and it's gonna come out different. Um, well, that one's not one, but here, here's another example where I did one here, same, same photo that I used, but it came out very differently. And I actually went to Canvas on this one I projected this and I said, I kind of like this one. Although I do like this a lot. This, doesn't this look like Marv from, uh, from um, uh, Yellow Bastard, uh, Sin City? So anyway, it's kind of a fun exercise. You're really just kind of coming up with these lines and you're, you're, you're looking at the image. And so it's gonna be a little tricky here with me. So what I'm gonna do because I've got this camera uh, I'm not going to blindfold myself, but I'm just going to use the honor system and um, draw, not looking at the paper. I'm just looking at the image and just kind of seeing where we go with that. Now, um, what I'm going to do is you're not going to see the image. I got some clips from my morgue file and I'm going to use those to draw. But I'm gonna look away so that you don't, and then at the end, I'll show you the image, okay? So, how does that, how does I grab you, okay? Let's do it now. Can you see this, what this is? Oh, you can't see it. I kinda want it to be a surprise, that's why. Okay, I am gonna find a good spot in the center that I think is like somewhat correct here for where I want the drawing. Okay, here we go. And the idea is just like, you know, when I was in art class years and years ago, it was like when you think about contour drawing, and that's what this is really, you're thinking about, you're like, you're following like an ant. That's the way my teacher taught. You get, pretend you're an ant and you're following along the lines of these shapes, right? Following along. And you're just kind of going along. Now the speed you go is all dependent upon you and you're trying to like make things proportional, but things are gonna be wacky. But that's part of the fun of it, is that things are wacky. And you might find something really kind of interesting. Whereas when you're drawing something very representational, you know, using all these measurements and internal things, you, you kind of lose some of the organic, expressive nature of something. And I think that uh, you can gain some of that, that freedom by doing an exercise like this. I'm not saying you're gonna turn this into like a great piece of artwork, but you never know. And it's okay if it looks funky. Again, that's the point. So I'm gonna change my pencil position here.
How's everybody doing? Doing some artwork today. Kind of excited about drawing and painting. I've got some, I got my gallery show, you know. I've been talking about that for a while now. Coming up in a couple weeks. So I really need to stop painting <laughs> and just start letting things dry um, and, and just start wiring, wiring painting. So I need to like, I need to start wiring up my, my stuff. That's my next step. Maybe do some glazing. Okay, now I'm gonna get over there. I'm just gonna go like this. So you guys can do this too. Not this image, of course, because you can't see it, but go find a photograph. You can find something online, go find a magazine, if they still make a magazine somewhere. <laughs> and you can uh, do that. So I'm actually gonna look at this for a second because I lost my spot and I see what I've done. Okay, that looks kind of fun. Okay, let me go back now to a place where I can start. Okay, now I'm back. Back to blind. Dang, I lost my spot again. Okay, well, I'm gonna lose this last spot. Then we're gonna be done. I think. Okay, there, boom, done. You guys ready? Da doom. Did you get? Could you see that the whole time? Oh, you could see that the whole time, huh? Damn it! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Ah, okay, I gotta be better. I gotta scoot over a little more. Um, so yeah, so this is a dude carrying his kid in a in a loving way. <laughs> um, now let's look at this. Now, what I could do is I could go back and refine this if I wanted to. I could put in the other foot, although I kind of like it without the foot. I could, you know, finish this part here. I can make this into something. So this could be like a starting spot to drawing, right? And then using these shapes, these lines, develop it more either with more blind or without. Now I'm looking at the reference kind of like, okay, now I want to like make his forearm right. Right, I could do that. Um, I could take away lines. I could say, you know what, let's just take away all this this stuff right here and take away some of this. I could do that too. Um, you know, like for instance, I kind of want to fix this hat just because it's like a thing I want to do. I want to like fix this hat or at least do that so I can see that's the brim, right? And I could, anyway. Um, yeah, dude, that's it. So let's do another one, shall we? Okay, that's actually kind of fun. Actually, I actually do like that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, next one. We'll do one more. This time, I hope you guys enjoy these. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I know it's kind of like 
people love the heavy metals. People love when I go into detail about like Alex Toth and those kind of things. But some some people, another set of people, like the our drawing stuff. So it's like I have two two worlds I'm trying to collide in one channel, and the algorithm doesn't like that. And then half of you don't like what I'm doing. Together. Okay, here we to go. Next one. Uh, what if I did this? If I did this, you couldn't see it. Yeah. Give me a second. Sorry. Technical. I'm trying to just like get it to where I can see it. I couldn't believe you guys could see it the whole time. I'm like, so lame. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Do you got some drawing somewhere? Okay. Let's do this. Now, the more careful you are when you're drawing these things, the more kind of contour line you get and potentially the more expressive, more interesting. So if you go super quick, you're going to lose out on some of these really subtle movements and, and contours, right? But that's what you do sometimes. You kind of just go for quickness at times. probably can tell what this is hopefully and if you want to know how to draw a woman's back there's a great person who's good at this is um, Frank Cho Frank Cho I think is that right I'm like the name just I mean, yeah Frank Cho he is a back master he's been doing these great drawings of women with their backs and it is pretty darn incredible highly recommend his Instagram for that what I could do is I can like go like that okay and I lost my place let's start here do this thigh Lost paper. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll do, we'll just go to here. Okay. So, boom, right? This actually has like, what's interesting about this one is, this has a little bit of like a Picasso thing going where you have almost the face doubled up twice, which is kind of interesting. Um, and I actually like this arm here. I like that a lot. Um, but of course the proportions are wrong. You know what I mean? So it's not really about like, art is, art is, seeing okay learning how to see 
And that is like the number one thing I've learned over just even most recently, just seeing things. And this is just like a fun exercise on how to see things. And if you want to use this as a foundation for something creative, for a piece of work, you can. Um, it is just another like technique to play with. There you go. So there's that one. Uh, I actually think I like the guy better. Um, I think I like the, the guy one better. But there you go. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.